I've done is Luke Gear from Luke Deck Reviews and I've finally got my hand on a Steam Deck OLED. So if you've been to the channel recently you'll see that I've done a review on the ROG Ally so if you've not seen it go check that out. But this is the one that I've been really looking forward to because I've heard it's more like a regular gaming console experience rather than a handheld PC having to deal with Windows and stuff. So that's not the main reason for the video today. I just wanted to give you an intro so there's plenty of content coming up for my Steam Deck OLED. Um, but for today I thought I definitely need some protection so I jumped on Amazon and picked up a screen protector from JSOX. I heard that these are the guys who go for two for screen protectors so and just as a heads up I paid for this myself so this was not sent to me and all the thoughts of this screen protector are going to be my own and then I'll give you my initial thoughts on this Steam Deck OLED as well but I don't want to say too much because I will have a full review coming up. Join me as I go through my journey with the Steam Deck OLED and then for today the screen protector. Let's jump in. Hi guys, so as I said, I'm Luke from Luke Tech Reviews and today we're going to run through the installation of the JSOX screen protector for my Steam Deck OLED. So I've had the Steam Deck OLED for probably about a month now after reviewing the ROG Ally and um, obviously the two are vastly different but I'll go into that more in my review. But as a summary for the Steam Deck OLED, I've been absolutely loving it. So short spoiler coming from a review, um, but it is going to be quite positive. Um, there are some things which it can prove on. Um, but overall, it's been a fantastic experience. And the main thing I would dive into, and it's my view as being a dad. So if you're a fellow dad and you're a gamer and you struggle with time, you might want to tune in because I've got loads of thoughts on that. Um, but for today, as I said, JSOC screen protector. So I've been using this unprotected for the past month. And usually with my phone, so I use an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And if you've been to my channel before, I review cases for phones and I do screen protectors. And it's very unlike me to not put a screen protector straight on my device. So I've been enjoying the Steam Deck that much that I just haven't even thought about it. But jumped on Amazon, as I said in the intro. Picked up this one from JSOX. So this is the one that everyone seems to recommend. So I thought I'd just pop it in my basket and just get it installed. So let's just run through, quick run through the packaging. So as I said, it's from JSOX. Um, it's a tempered glass screen protector. So it is made of a premium glass material. Um, the packaging says it's ultra clear, it's got 9H hardness and it's scratch resistant, 99.99% light transmittance. Um, just running through the back, it does tell you four simple steps on how to get it installed. So I will use those four steps as my guide and that's pretty much it. So it's probably not going to be a long video, but let's jump in and get it installed. So I'll just open the packaging. Okay, so as you can see inside, we do have two cleaning kits available, which is quite nice because you get two in the pack. There's a user guide, if you fancy going through that, I won't. And you have these little tools, you get a lot of these in screen protectors. And all it is is for pushing the bubbles all the way to the edge of your screen. So if you get one just in the corner, you'll push it all the way down. So we probably will use that, so I'm just going to pop it there. And inside the packet, there is two screen protectors. So I think the price of the screen protector was about £10, but you do get two in there, um, at least, which is quite good. And I got it from... Amazon.co.uk so depending where you are in the world hopefully you should have it available on your local Amazon store too and the last thing in there is a little tray so this is going to just guide you to put the display in the right way around and make sure your screen protector is just aligned in the corners so it goes on no problem it's tricky for my camera to pick that up because it's so thin but with all that in mind let's uh, pop half of this stuff back away and let's bin the Steam Deck OLED in okay so as you can see, I don't know if it's picking up, there's loads of fingerprints on my Steam Deck OLED. The display on the OLED, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. I've not owned a Steam Deck before, so this is someone who's not coming from the LCD Steam Decks. So if you've had that before, let me know if you've had both and how different they are. Um, I always like everyone's opinions, so drop a comment down below. But for me, yeah, this is my first one. The other thing I've got to compare it to is the Ally. And the screen on the Ally is actually really, really nice. Um, but it's not going to be an OLED screen for me, despite the VRR and, VRR and 1080p screen. Um, I think the OLED on the Steam Deck is just nicer for me. And those deep blacks, you just can't beat them. LCD will never beat the uh, blacks that an OLED can provide. This is probably a lot more talking than my normal installation videos. But I'm just excited to have the Steam Deck. I feel like I just want to have a casual chat in my videos around the Steam Deck. And get you guys involved as much as I can. So any questions you've got as you go along or any thoughts on the Steam Deck or any games you can recommend. Jump in the comments and let me know guys. That would be awesome. So let's go for step one. It says clean it with alcohol, cotton and use the dust collector to wipe it all off. So I'm just going to open the packet. So in there, we've got one dust absorber, so that'll, that's for using to stick it off after. That's your cloth and that's your wipe. So we're going to start with the wipe. So 
let's take that out of the packet and we'll just give this screen a good wipe all the way around to get all those fingerprints off from the screen so i don't actually touch the screen too often but there's certain games you come across i think batman arkham asylum was one of them where i couldn't get past the start menu every time i boot the game up so you have to touch the screen just to get into the game and it's the same when i've recently been playing fallout 3 which i've never played any fallout before i'm someone who's come from console gaming and I traditionally, traditionally I play Call of Duty or FIFA. So with the Steam Deck, I've had a whole new world of gaming. And someone said, try out Fallout. So I started with Fallout 3 and you have to use the screen on that one if you're using it in docked mode on the telly. So you have to touch it to get going, but not a problem. Touch screen is perfect on it. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Okay, so next we'll move on to the little cloth. I'll just give this a wipe. So there will be some dust on there. So you always wipe it with a wet wipe. And then when you use this one, you do get dust back on there. What I then tend to do is use the dust absorber, let's say. So this is just a sticky, sticky sticker, sticky piece of paper, um, which I'll use to just catch all the dust. Now I've heard many times, I've not tried it, installing screen protectors to eliminate all the dust is always good in a room full of uh, mist or fog, so like in a, a shower room, or if you get the iron and then give it a spray over the top with all the steam, apparently that's really good for just killing any dust in the air but let me know if you tried that I've not give that one a go just going around it as much as you can to get all the dust off I always end up missing some but that's why I'm always glad that when there's more than one in the packet so I've just done that I'm going to read the next step I'll probably give it another blast in a sec so now it says peel off only the film layer on the screen protector so let's grab out the screen protector what I'm going to do first of all is it hasn't told me to do that in the steps is I'm just going to put this alignment tool over the top of it so let's just see which side has to go where so that looks about right doesn't it please peel before you take this off there we go and then whilst holding that I'm going to grab my um, sticky tool again piece of paper again and just give it another blast for any last minute dust that's got back on the screen peel that side off and stick that side down so because we've got the tray on we can just place it inside with the tray and then what you want to do is just go from one side to the other measure or see um, hopefully the light's picking it up it's just starting to spread so the adhesive is starting to spread out the screen and what will happen is it probably won't stick on all areas of the screen so the majority of the left side has actually stuck really well I can see it going really slowly for the right side um, I'll just give it another minute and then I'll start pressing with the bubble tool that came with it okay so it's been about a minute now and it is moving but it's quite slow so what I'm going to do is just going to help it along by using the tool to just push those bubbles to the edge so I think the tool might actually be keeping it on there you go so as soon as I've moved the tool the bubbles have gone straight up to the edge there is one big circle one in the middle I don't know if you can see it. there you go um, which I'm now if I leave it at that angle you might be able to see um, I'm going to just try and push it towards the edge of the screen to get rid of which hopefully yes there we go so that is the screen protector now on so let me just get the cloth and just give this a nice wipe to get off any fingerprints which are now on the screen protector but yeah that was honestly straight easy so it said four steps on the video i started following it and kind of went off and did my own thing but you can see me do it it was really easy if you get lost always come back to my video that's fine share it with your friends not a problem and hopefully if someone isn't too confident at installing screen protectors my video gives you some sort of help okay so before we turn this steam decoder on that's the screen protector installed when the screen's on so you can see it's, it's obviously still pretty reflective and this is not the x glass version of the steam decoder this is a 512 gig version um, and if you did get the one terabyte version with the x glass and you bought this with screen protector it's then going to make it glossy there is a um, matte version of this screen protector available on Amazon as well, I think. Um, so I do think you have the option. And if you guys want to see how that one looks against this one, comment down below. And if enough people want to see it, I'll, I'll buy that screen protector and we'll test that one out. So uh, let's pop the screen on. I don't know what's going to pop up because I know what I was playing last, but it'll probably fall out. Yeah, so let me just exit home. So there's my home screen. So just flick through there. So you can see I've got my lights on obviously above to light the video. Well, um, Reflections aren't too bad. I mean the OLED panels I prefer to be glossy because it does help the blacks look 
um, more of an inky black rather than a grey black and that's one of the complaints that a lot of people have had with the X-Class. It spreads the light more which makes it look more diffuse and more of a grey black than uh, the inky black that you get. First impressions, the insulation was easy, the screen looks really nice. Let's hop into a game and see how it looks. And just while that's loading up, you can see I've got a controller here. So this is the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller I think it is. I will be doing a review on that coming up soon because I like to use my Steam Deck in dock mode a lot as well. Um, but yeah, this is a great controller. I'll leave a link for it down below in case you're looking for one. But um, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe because that is a nice product. As I mentioned during the installation, you can see the controls don't work for Batman, um, Arkham Asylum, so you have to touch the screen. So if I just hit play, I say that, and then the game has actually decided not to work. Let me exit out of Fallout 3, Fallout 3 in case that's causing any issues. There you go, it was. So because I had Fallout 3 in the background, rookie error, it wasn't loading Batman. So as you can see, I couldn't move the options on Batman, so you have to use a touchscreen. But once you press start game or new game, you boot you straight in. So as this is loading up, let me know what you think of those reflections on the screen with the screen protector installed. Uh, let's turn this off a bit. Uh, if you've not played this game, by the way, which I haven't, these are the first Batman games I've, I've picked up. And I think the I got the trilogy of the Arkham Asylum for something like four pound on the Steam sale a while back, which was cool. Uh, as you can see, I'm 26% through the game, and I think when this loads, you'll probably see me die pretty quick. But because you guys have stuck around, let's just have a little blast. There you go, so put it on full screen brightness and let's just see how we get on. So we're running at 60 hertz on the 60, so we're running at 60 frames per second, sorry, on the uh, Steam Deck I for this game. And graphics, I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, right, so there's electrics for the nose, get off the floor. And let's get this guy. Okay, let's jump down here. Oh, one of them coming. And this level is actually pretty hard. I don't know if you guys have done this bit yet, but the more they send more and more baddies in, and then the and then each round the, the floor lights up electrical. And then some of the guys have electric batons, so you can't really um, get it off them really, really easy. Here they come up. So you kind of have to use the B button to just dent. Let's try and jump here, look. Oh, they're all coming with me. Anyway, so I'm going to pause it there. So <laughs> hopefully that gave you guys an idea. So if we just flick through, hit home, library. Um, as you can see, just room for those are the games I've got installed. And then I've got a lot more games I haven't got installed. So any games there, if I flick a bit slower, um, that you guys have completed or played, let me know if they're any good. Um, loads I haven't played yet, like Cyberpunk, uh, the other two Batman, which is Arkham City and Arkham Knight. Um, haven't played God of War yet. Uh, that's a really good game. I've completed Hellblade. That was pretty cool. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't played. I got that one in the Steam sale. Sniper Elite Four looked like a good game to kill some time with, so I picked up that. And The Witcher. Three. Never played any of the Witcher games, so I wanted to try it. Another recommendation for me if you've got a casual game you want to play, Oli Oli World. It's actually pretty cool, it's just a skateboarding game, but there's different tricks and tasks that you have to take. Um, and yeah, just a nice casual game to play a game with, and it runs at really high frames per second. As I said at the beginning, this is a screen protector installation video for the Joyce J Socks Tempered Glass Screen Protector, but I have spoke about quite a lot to do with the Steam Deck, my experience, a controller, general thoughts. Um, and yeah, I do have a full review coming up on the Steam Deck OLED. So hit subscribe, I have a review coming up for the 8-bit Doe controller. As I said, that one's really good. And I've also been sent a dock to review as well. So if you guys are interested in any of those, hit subscribe. And as I said, let me know if there's any games you recommend and any tips you've got for me on the Steam Deck OLED, let me know down below. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I'm Luke from Luke Tech Reviews, and thank you very much for watching. See you next time.